everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So this is my what did I get for Christmas. So these are all the craft supplies that I've recently got. So first of all, I'm going to start off with some friend mail. So I actually received this here from the lovely Kate. So I will just bring in everything that she made because this all came in a box. Um, some of the packaging I recognise and she did say that to me. She said um, she'd followed my tutorials. So I'm just going to bring in this one here along with this beautiful card. So I'll start off with the card. Now up close there you can see you've got all the decoupage images there on the front and then this lovely gingerbread man paper. And then this one opens up here on the front, it says Merry Christmas. And then she's wrote me a lovely letter and then here it says to Sam, warmest thoughts and festive wishes I sent your way for a wonderful Christmas day. Thank you Kate, it was such a nice card, really really pretty, I love that one. And then I've got all these goodies here, so first of all let's start off with this one. So this is my selection box, it was really nice to get my own, so thank you Kate, it was so thoughtful and these papers are one of my favourites. I love the decoupage that she's done in the middle there and then inside <laughs> tons of caramels thank you so much these along with the ones that tonic sent me i have loads of tonic sweets to last me i reckon until february at least and it says to sam i'm sorry but it had to be done enjoy merry christmas kate so thank you and they fit perfectly like i said these selection box sizes are brilliant because you can just stack so many different chocolates i've seen people sharing them in the group and they've been putting so many different brands inside and it just seems to work with most so yeah i love the tonics uh, caramels there so thank you that was really kind and then I have this one here I can't remember what was in this because I've already obviously had a peep through you know and look at everything love the little robin on the top there can you see and then inside here she's done the wax melts but these ones and I don't have this wax seal this is the happy mail it's got all those different colors there really really nice I like that one I like the red See there, so I'll definitely be using these. Probably pop these on the back of the cards when I do the giveaways. And um, I'll be asking you, Kate, where you got that um, seal from because I really like it myself. So thank you, that was really, really sweet. I'm going to add those with my. I've already done some and they're like summery, they've got like flowers and things like that on, so it'd be nice to add those. And such a cute little box there as well. I like that. And then I have these here. And as she put on this one, it says, the contents was handmade but not by me so oh that's right look at these cute little candles they're almost too nice to actually burn so i've got that flower there and there's the other one there so you can see the two there that i've got so i will use them as lovely as they are but they are made to be burnt so enjoy them that's what i always say so thank you for those and then let's have a look in this one so in here i've got some lovely pamper things so i've got let's take everything out oh got another wax seal there as well i must have missed that one. Oh no i think that one was on the back of the that was on the back of the card that's right i'll pop that with the rest because i can reuse that so here i have soap and glory it's love i love soap and glory I actually have some of their stuff so this one here is a it's probably staring me right in the face the ultimate super smoothing body buffer how you'll know it's the one <laughs> Their stuff is nice though, so I'm sure it will be lovely. The Righteous Butter Body Moisturiser. And then I have this one here. I mean, I go through hand creams. I imagine everybody does, to be honest. But when you're a paper crafter, my hands are always dry. And I always put moisturiser on before I film. Um, and I just use it all the time. So this will go in my drawer next to me. It's a Bayless and Hardin. And it's the Royal Royale Garden. And it's the rose one so thank you and they're great little sizes because if i do ever need to take any they fit in my bag and then this one here is english floral garden soap these are actually handy when i travel because obviously i've got to hachanda now every month so that's a nice little portable kind of travel size so again thank you very much for that and i do love my face masks i am um, i do try to i guess it's finding that time for self-care and i i do i like to every now and you know at least once a week I will sit down of an evening and I'll put a face mask on. So this one, I don't have this one, but it's Manuka Honey Peel Off. I love the peel off ones as well. It's really satisfying, especially if you can pull it, peel it off in one go. So really thoughtful of you, Kate. Such a lovely gift. So I will be putting those all away. And then this one, again, you'll recognise that box. That was one of mine. This was this, this is up there as one of the popular, most popular Christmas ones of this year um, in terms of packaging that I shared. And it's one that's going to work all year round, so I'm sure it's going to be enjoyed a lot. Lovely ribbon, really like that. And then inside, of course, 
Tadix tea cakes. So thank you so much. So that was really kind of you, Kate. I love everything that you've you sent to me. And then some of you might have noticed this lovely ring that I have. It is amazing. When I opened up this gift, I was just, I mean, I'm always touched by gifts, but I think when it comes to rings and anything arty, I just, it just blew me away. I was a little bit emotional with this because I just thought, you know, it's just a really thoughtful gift. And it's from a lady called Liz. I'll show you the card as well that she done. I just love it. And it reminds me of like Bob Ross, which I obviously love as well. It's just very much me and I just, I love it. So thank you so much. This is also the card she sent and I love candy canes. I actually have a candy cane station that I put up every Christmas and I'm gonna be adding this to the jar with where I have candy canes in and I'm gonna pop this in with it as well. It's a card, it opens up here. She's just wrote a few words, which I will just um, hide there, but you can see how that opens. It was just so thoughtful, Liz, really, really was. So thank you so much, I absolutely love it. Um, then I received, this is from Melanie, this is the stand, slide and stand card, I love the images on this, so it says have a piggies and blankets Christmas, if you don't know what that means, in the UK, I'm, I'm sure that many other people enjoy them around the world, but I know in the UK, at Christmas time, we traditionally will have pigs and blankets with our Christmas dinner, so that is small sausages with bacon wrapped around. And this is an actual image of some pigs with a blanket. I think it's brilliant. And also here, pigs in a blanket. I love these. I don't know if they're a download, if it's an actual stamp. I think it is stamped. I think they're brilliant. This I recognise, I'm sure it's the embossing folder from one of the free, that came free in the magazine. And then on the back she just put, hi Sam, pig out, it's Christmas, I think it's brilliant. Hope you like the card, wishing you and your family a very happy Christmas and a new year. And she also wrote a lovely letter, which I'm gonna, again, keep private, but um, she sent me a bag of Percy pigs as well, which are the Marks and Spencers Percy pigs, and I literally sat and ate pretty much all of them in one sitting. <laughs> I do like Percy Pigs. It's one of those things I don't tend to really buy a lot when I'm like shopping because you can only get them at Marks and Spencers anyway. But when I do get them, then I eat them. So it's probably good that I can't kind of get my hands on them all the time because I don't think it would be very good for my waistline, but I enjoyed them thoroughly. So thank you so much. Thank you for the lovely card. And another couple of cards I got because I like to just show these to you because it's nice inspiration as well. This is from my friend Tatty who lives in Dublin beautiful card love the sentiment here i think she's done that on the foil i think that's you know using the um hot foil that's what that looks like and i love the ponsettia dye here and she's put sparkle all on the flowers and that was really nice and i think she's actually stitched this as well which has reminded me of my stitch dies that I've got, which I did start using, so I need to get those out. Absolutely beautiful. And then my friend Carol sent me this lovely card here. Oh, let the focus, there we go. Warm heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. Really, really pretty. And with that, she sent me a couple of little gifts here. And this one, I love these, I hang these up around my craft room. Do more of what makes you happy. And in here, I've got some sticky labels. And then I need to share this card here, which is from, so this is my great aunt's granddaughter. She's called Sarah. And I thank you so much for this absolutely beautiful card. She's put my name across the front, all of that glitter. And it's kind of like a little storybook. So she's got here, open for some surprises, main writing on the last page. <laughs> and then in the middle, She's put here, I think that's fantastic, Christmas time. And then Christmas with some lovely little presents that she's drawn. And then on the back it says Merry Christmas to Samantha, Merry Christmas from Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. It's beautiful. I absolutely love your card and I love all the sparkle on that one. So that was really, really kind of you to send me that. Okay, so on to my gifts that I received. So first of all, from my best friend, she got me some other fun gifts, but one of them was this Hoover. Um, I haven't even got it out of the packaging yet. She actually uh, messaged me and said, have you used your Hoover yet? And I said, no, I'm gonna wait until I've shared it and then I will try it. So I'm gonna take it out of the packaging just so you can see it. And she said, I thought it would be handy for you when you're using your glitter, embossing powder and things like that. And basically it's got all these bristles on the bottom and you just literally, put it across the desk and it will suck up whatever's on there. So um, I haven't put batteries in it yet. I need to do that. Let's push 
here. There we go. So it takes. Ooh, where's the batteries go? Ah, here we go. There we go. So the top is the battery. So it's two AA batteries, and then that's obviously to clean it. So that's where I guess all of your mess goes. Yeah, it must do because there's no other holes anywhere. So I guess it's that's the bit that you empty. Yeah, because there's all the filters on the sides. So that's where all the the bits will go. Ooh. So yeah, I will try it out and I will let you know how it goes. But you will see this feature in videos, probably when I'm live crafting. And then that one pops back in there, like so. There we go. But it's just nice and handy, it's compact. I can just pop it on my shelf there. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So, I mean, on here they show it like in a car, picking up like bits of food and crisps and so on. Yeah, I love it. Thanks, Kate. Okay, then I got this ribbon here, which I actually, this was on my Amazon. It was in my um, my basket and my mum just said, you know, what have you kind of got in there? Send it to me and, you know, I'll see what I can do. So I don't have a lot of thin ribbon. I've got lots of thick ribbons and these thin ones are just so handy for cards and just actually wrap through the cards and yeah, I just wanted some thin ones. So this was, um, if I can find the links, I will link it below as I always try to do. But um, you just get a variety of colors. There's another one that you can get with a different amount as well, I think, but you can see there, each one's slightly different, but there's a nice mix of color there, but you get loads. It's really, really long. It's wrapped all around this big spool. But I just thought it was really handy. I mean, it comes in this. I'll actually use this for something else. It's quite a handy little travel size, really. Um, so that I will take them all off of that. But um, yeah, like I said, if I can share the links, I will. But it was from Amazon. And um, I just like those thin ribbons. Okay, this one's going to make quite a few of you smile. So these are the Faber-Castell Polychromo. And these are your coloured pencils. Now... <laughs> These were in my wish list because I just like to try all different coloured pencils. These ones are a little bit more expensive, but in our favourite charity shop, my mum found this the other day, not too long before Christmas. They were originally £10 that they were selling them for. They didn't sell at £10, so they reduced them to £5. And my mum saw them and grabbed them, and they are brand new. They've not even been sharp. Well, they've been sharpened as in how they, you know, they come. They've never been used. They are brand new and they are the brights and they are beautiful. These are up there as some of the best. So I'm really excited to try these myself. And um, yeah, just what a find. <laughs> Everybody always says um, they wanna go to this charity shop because we always seem to find really good craft things in there. So I know there's a few of you in that live in Plymouth, where I live, that will be. <laughs> <laughs> probably saying a few curse words now at how jammy my mum was this time to get these but what a find absolute find because these are around 35 pound online for the set of 24 um and i think you can get in the polychromos i could be wrong but i'm sure i think there's something like 72 maybe even more within the range so yeah see how i go with these they're meant to be beautiful to blend vibrant colors um, there's some swatch sheets that I'm going to download and uh, yeah again you'll see these feature in future videos so thank you mum what a find also she's got me these here well I say she my dad as well <laughs> this is from my mum and my dad and these are the skin tones to go with the rest of my Black Widow pencils the Black Widow pencils are really nice there they're just a lot of people are using them a lot of um i found them from a youtuber called coloring bliss that i follow and she was raving about how good they are for the price point at the time when i purchased them they were 12.99 for a pack or a tin um which is really good for colored pencils that perform as well as these do and um, i downloaded her swatch sheet sheets and i've now got these to fill in the rest on there and they're just really nice and I've introduced a lot of you to them as well and I know lots of you have been getting them and really enjoying them. I highly recommend them, they're lovely pencils, I've been using them for quite a while now, probably for about, I'd say, four months, I want to say, and I've made quite a lot of cards using them and I'm really, really pleased with them. Those and the Arteza ones have kind of been my favourites. Now I've got the Polychromos to try as well, so I'm, I'm, I'm a coloured pencil person, I really enjoy them. But these ones here are the skin tones. You've got the, there's three tins of 24 and those are the black widow so it's got a spider on the top then you've got the cobra and then you have the scorpion 
you can't miss them and you can see the Black Widow there. But if you don't like the tins, I don't keep things in the original packaging. I store them into my storage units that I have. Um, just get rid of the tins, you know. There's a few people saying, oh, I can't buy them. Just get rid of the tins, put a piece of decorative paper over the top. It's easy to sort out. But now having the, the skin, tolor, skin tones is um, just completes the set. They're beautifully packaged. Um, and like I said, great value for money. So yeah, and you've got the website there and there's also the support email if you need to contact them. So yeah, that now completes my set. So I'm looking forward to getting those all swatched out. And I think I'm gonna order myself another one of these. So this is my coloured pencils. I can't spill a bit of yoghurt on it. How bad's that? I need to wash that off properly. Um, but this is what I keep all of my Arteza in and these are so well used. I mean, yeah, you can see how small some of these are. They are they're well loved. I do really enjoy these pencils. Um, and this holds the whole set of the Arteza pencils. I could spread some of these out a bit more to be honest. But I love this case. I think it holds 160 pencils. So I think I'm going to order another one of these in a different, in a vibrant colour. I'll probably go for like a red, just so I know that the red is my Black Widow and this lovely like magenta colour is the Arteza. But these are great for travelling, especially when I'm, you know, on the go. I need to do a little bit of reorganisation, but thank you again to my mum and dad for the pencils. And then from my sister. So again, this was all in my, my like Amazon wish list. I want to start trying some alcohol, well I want to start using alcohol inks and making some nice backgrounds. Rather than, I'm just grabbing the blending solution, rather than splash out on the more expensive ones, I know Ranger, Tim Holtz, um, I just thought I want to try it first just to see if I am going to do it a lot to kind of justify paying a bit more. Um, so these here were not too expensive for the amount that you get so you get 24 now they are smaller you can see here but i think that's just right for me at the moment again if it's something that i feel i'm going to be going to a lot more then i might start to invest in bigger bottles but these here you get 24 of all these different colors they kind of look like food coloring bottles but they're not so don't mistake them for that but and then um she's also got me the blending solution and then you use that with the Upo paper. So this is what I've got here. So I've got 10 sheets, 85 GSM. There are other papers or other, you know, versions of Upo paper as well, but this is the ones that she's got me. So I'll try these and it says here, this smooth surface synthetic paper is ideal for use with alcohol inks, mixed media, watercolors and acrylics. Wipe to reveal the white, si the white surface. Scratch when dry, blend and merge color. I don't know, I need to do a little bit of research. There's lots of really good videos on YouTube, um, which I'll be checking out. So I'm really looking forward to making some nice, you know, backgrounds and use those within my, my card making. So I, again, these will definitely be featuring, if not in my live tutorials, um, they will be in just my normal pre-recorded videos that I put up onto YouTube. So for epoxy, that's good as well, because I am doing my resin. So I can use them with that spreads rapidly vivid coloring so i'm really looking forward to it so again if it's something that you want to try then you know go down this route first i think because it's not too expensive i think this is going to last me a long time i think it'll be just right i think if anything you use more of this which is what you kind of drip onto the colors to them you know mix them and um, for them to create all those great patterns and stuff so and they also got me some new gel press I've got it it's not jelly because jelly is the brand and they do their own this one's gel press basically they are your media plates so what these are here is these wobbly thick pieces of gel and you create amazing effects with these I love using these I had the jelly ones and they dried up because I didn't store them well at all and it's when I lived abroad so I haven't been able to really do this um, for at all ever on my channel so I'm looking forward to sharing what I know of this and what I've done and I think you're going to really enjoy it so keep them in here you keep them all in the packaging don't ever throw this packaging away that's how you want to keep them stored 
and um, just make sure they're not anywhere where there's direct light or anywhere where they could dry because like I said, I learned the hard way. Um, so I've got a six by six and the five by seven. And then to go with that, I've got some new brayers. So let me just show you, I've got these ones here. So those will be used. And I've also got a ton of new acrylic paints. I do have acrylic paints, but they're, you know, some of them are coming to the end or, um, the colours, I don't really have the best variety of colours, so I've got these ones here. So these are by Magic Fly, and there's tons. So I've got some really great colours in here. I love these ones here. You've got the pink, got the magenta there, and these are what you will use with your gel plates. So again, I just want to create backgrounds, different papers. And I think I'm going to have loads of fun with this. And of course, you can mix these as well. Um, you've got your flesh. And the Is there a white in this one? Yeah. I've got lots of white anyway. I've actually got a few tubes of white acrylic here. Obviously, different brands, they will react slightly different, but you'll still get a really good result. So I'm not worried about mixing brands. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm all set to go there with the, the gel plates. So that's what I'll be doing between now and into the new year deep sky blue I and mean, like i said you can mix your own colors but it's quite nice to have a lot of them already done as well so yeah i can't wait i'm so excited to just play around with some new things so we've got their crimson red it's a really nice variety this is a pack of 24. i believe you can get a pack of six and a pack of 12. oh sorry no this is pack of 30. i think there's 24. there's a few brands that are slightly different but the same and the packaging looks very similar to Arteza so I don't know whether it all comes from the same factory or this is just a company you know copying them I don't know but it's very very similar right down to just all of this but like I said this is magic fly everyone is an artist they're like a student grade you know they're not expensive like that um you can obviously get very expensive acrylics but this is not something that I'm going to be doing full-time or as my only kind of you know craft this is something as an extra so these will be fine for me these will last me a long long time and the acrylic paints you don't have to just use for the gel media plates anyway I will use these you know for other things if I'm doing a little bit of canvas painting um, and so on so yeah really nice amount again I'm gonna pop these into my little storage units that I have Ooh, and then yay <laughs> I've finally got a new mini die cutting machine so those of you that are regulars to the channel I have the crafters companion Gemini go the machine itself is fantastic never had any problems with it but the plates oh my gosh they just warp so badly and I've just not had any success with them so I like the heavy thick perspex plates and that's what these are and these are just the same as the baby the mini baby blue by tattered lace that I used to have and I think these are the same on the is it the prism hunky dory one or is it anyway these are the plates i prefer these plates well they might warp slightly but they do not warp like like this this is the gemini go and it's the only ones that i've ever had that are actually joined like this you just can't put anything on that and i know you could probably put these under hot water you can reshape them but they just go back again um it's just very frustrating i know this hasn't happened for everybody but for someone that crafts as much as I do, you know, I'm full time doing this. Um, it just, I was just getting too frustrated. So now I've got these ones. So, and it's, this one gets great reviews. It's been around a long time again. So I'm looking forward to, to using it. It's a really nice, robust little machine. It's got your little suction. Let's take all this off now. I need to register it. I don't know, actually, I know you, I've registered my other machines. I'm sure this is the guarantee. I think it's only a year, actually. I need to check. But always check these, and if it says register, make sure you do, because it does cover you then if, if it does kind of break or you need a, an extra part. But that's all your suction, mat. So I imagine, yeah, we just push that. There you go. It's solid. 
Oh, it's lifted. Hang on a minute. I think it's not the best surface, to be fair. But it does. It is there now. And uh, yeah, I've got my embossing plate. Is that the embossing one? Yeah, embossing pad. So that one would you do those two with the embossing folder. To be fair, I don't really have, I know they've just given me them, but it's not, I don't really use them. Got a little happy birthday one there. That's a little edge one. But that's what I will use. And you just feed it through. So I've not put them in straight, but that's how it works. Love it. And you also get this little stamp set. Thank you. And hello, and you've got a little heart there. And then I imagine, yeah, this will die cut. That circle will fit nicely around the hello. You've got the heart there, which will cut the hearts out there. A little edge border. I doubt I use the dies as such. I've got lots of this kind of thing. I've got circles and hearts, but they're quite handy. I like the thank you, that's nice. So I'll pop them in with my other kind of thank you ones, I guess. And then you've got all of your Info there again tells you how to use it in case you're new to it and you're not too sure. So I will keep all that together and, like I said, check to see if I need to register that one. And then, lastly, oh, actually, I've got one more thing. My sister got me this from a lady that was doing them on Etsy, and it's a little diary which I'll keep in my bag. And it's been covered with a Tunix wrapper, isn't that cool? And you got it on the back there as well. Really like that. And then it's uh, my diary for this year. So thank you for that, Tracy and Ollie. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Then every year on Christmas Eve, we exchange silly presents. So um, basically what that means is it has to be a gift that you've either customised or made and it has some kind of relevant relevance to that person for the year just gone. I made my mum a t-shirt using my Cricut and I basically just typed out on my on the software and it said I love Charlie hashtag obsessed. Charlie is my nephew he was born in the right in the middle of lockdown and um, my mum like m many grandparents my mum is just so obsessed with him and um I got her a t-shirt that said that on it. So that's obviously relevant to her for this year. And then I done one for my dad, <laughs> which said along the lines of, basically, I just don't like, I don't want to do peopling today. No peopling. So what I mean by that is my dad always makes a joke of if there's crowds, if there's loads of people around, like he will stay clear. He hates it. Um, and we always make a joke with him. So that's what I got him. And then over the years, we've had some real funny jokey ones. Um, I guess you've got to kind of have a bit of a thick skin in my family because some of them take the mickey out of us, um, whether it's our appearance in some way, but it's all just a bit of fun and we always have a real giggle and that's what we exchange on Christmas Eve. So my dad made me this clock, which is my own mixed up craft clock. And I love it. He's, uh, well, my dad drew my logo anyway for me. So he's just printed that off and then he's used these um, stickers and um, it says Mixed Up Craft. It has um, a battery, which I'll add in a moment and I'll hang that up in my craft room. Because I was saying um, I needed one because every time I do my Facebook Live, I always film it through my, my actual mobile and then I have the comments on my iPad. And when I have it in... For some reason, when it's on, I can't see the clock or the time on the top of my iPad. So I always ask in the chat, can someone give me a time, please? So now I won't have to because I'll have this up in my craft room. So yeah, it was, you see what I mean? So it's it's relevant to me. It's been made or customised. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of fun. So it was different this year because we only I only had my mum and dad because they're in my bubble and they are who I spent Christmas Eve with um, into Christmas Day. Usually we also have it with my sister and husband and um and the rule is that if anybody new comes into the family they have to have a whole year with us first before they can actually participate my dad's got some very strict rules with this it's taken very seriously and um, it's always done on christmas eve and it's lots of fun and it's a tradition that i hope will continue for many many more years so yeah so that was i just thought i would add that in and share it with you all and i think it looks really cool so i can't wait to put it up so and lastly 
I've got this to show as well. So Paper Mill Direct very kindly sent me some new swatches and some papers to try. So these are the new swatches. So oh, I love this one, the sparkling glitter. And I've actually just put an order in for these here. Look at these. Oh my gosh, they're going to be so nice for springtime. So I have ordered that one. Where's the other ones? These here. So these are the ones that I've ordered. How amazing are those? They're all non-shed, really nice. And you can see the other ones here. I mean, going into Christmas time again, or even just the winter, but look at some of those colors there. How sparkly, the sparkle on them. I mean, it is picking up actually quite well in the camera. They're just amazing. Um, oh, did I do that pink as well? I think I've added that pink as well. I need to double check, but oh, I love them. So these swatches are really handy. If you're interested to know what ones those are, it's the iridescent light pink glitter, the neon orange, um, neon yellow. So if you just put in neo, neon, then you'll get those all up there. They're 220 GSM, so they're great for, you know, making gift bags and boxes from, but I just, I'll be using them on my cards. But I think they're all 220. Yeah, they are. But if you go to the glitter, you'll see all of them. But I love that those kind of jumped out at me. And then you have here, these are all non-shed. Um, these are more smooth glitters, not so sparkly as the others. Still lovely. Um, you've got sparkled pearlescent card there. That's 300 GSM. You know, they're great for your card blanks as well. Really, really nice. So that's the sparkling glitter. I've got double-sided pearlized. Which again is really nice if you are doing it, you know, as your card blank card, then you know to have it double sided. But also, it's great for techniques because it's a white core. So if you run an embossing folder through that and then use a sanding block on top, you get some wonderful effects. I do like that technique. I do it a lot whenever I get the paper mill, the paper mill, the paper, the paper craft society boxes or the kits, because a lot of the time it's some white core card there. But, I mean that's lovely. That royal blue double-sided pearlized. I need to get more of the blue, so I might well do an order for that as well. Because I do like using navy. Um, so yeah, that's the double-sided pearlized. And then your essentials. I have a lot of the essentials cardstock from Paper Mill Direct. It's just really nice quality. It's 240 GSM, so it's perfect for card blanks and for 3D projects. And you've just got pretty much every colour you can think of. I mean, if you go on their website, they have so much. Their customer service is brilliant and um, they've got a blog, they've got lots of inspiration and they've just got great colours. I mean there's just so much. You can also buy your card blanks from them, you can buy envelopes, they do a lot. Um, you know there's a lot more on the website than just the card stock as well. So that's that one and then here's your textured card. So you've got for example that's a linen effect, that's 280 GSM. You've got here super white card, linen 350. I mean that's, that's a lovely one. Um, 280 there but that's all got a texture on it so you've got your hammered effect hammered white hammered ivory hammered ones are always nice for wedding invitations they seem to be used a lot rich cream again you've got a linen there tons of different ones so that is your texture card so those are my newest swatch kind of blocks i've got a few more as well and then they also sent me cardstock so this is what you're looking for here, papermilldirect.co.uk. I will link it below. But in here, they've sent me a nice wedge of new colours to try. So I've got some glitter here already. So you can see there. Oh, it's so nice. It's like my favourite colour. Look at the mirrored card there. Um, I've got a load of white. And this is the smooth white, which is what I use a lot. It's perfect for stamping using your alcohol inks some lovely new kind of fresh spring colours there along with the pinks some red and then I've got some pearlized I think oh no that's not double sided I wonder if I've got any double sided oh yeah this is double sided here towards the end um, what else have I got here pearlized that's a nice colour that'd be nice for Valentine's actually very pretty so yeah I've got a nice variety there, love that teal colour, be nice for underwater cards and that one there and then I've got some grey, that's a lovely pink as well 
so yeah again thank you paper mill direct because it is beautiful cardstock love that it's like an olive pearlized card there as well so yeah so i will add those to my other cards and um i need to get organized with it all now okay so that's everything to show you i have some new magazines but i'm going to hold those back and share those probably in the new year and um, i'm going to start to use a lot of the new stamps that i've got from the magazines in my facebook live because i'll be starting them again in the new year as well and yeah i'm just enjoying a couple of weeks off just relaxing and crafting just to craft i'm not recording i'm just doing some things just to enjoy them not that i don't enjoy but it's just nice to not have to worry about filming and saying things and talking i can just put a movie on i've just been enjoying some nice crafting but i'm looking forward now to having a good play around with these things here and once i've kind of um, got back into the swing of using my gel plates again then i'll share some tutorials again this is all new to me using the upo paper and the alcohol inks so again once i've used those i will share them and you'll see the pencils featuring pretty much all the time because it's, it's my chosen or my favourite medium to use and I'm interested to see how this is going to hold up as well and we'll see if it does suck up the glitter and so on so yeah thank you for watching I will link as much as I can in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with some new tutorials I can't wait thanks for watching bye